I'm very thankful to present, to give you the presentation where I will cover perioperational chemotherapy of the G, uh, GIT cancer and what kind of approaches exist in the world and in the our center. First of all, I'd like to say that perioperative chemotherapy started from uh, the large randomized uh, the UK study MAGIC. There are three causes of preoperative chemotherapy and three causes post operative chemotherapy. Control group has isolated surgical treatment. Since 1984 up to 2001, the trial included enrolled uh, 533 patients. Progression-free survival and overall survival were high in experimental group, 36% against 23% and 30% against 18% respectively. Authors concluded that perioperative chemotherapy uh, led to the reduction of the tumor, improved resectability and improved survival rate of a locally advanced cancer patients. Despite the criticism, because uh, the patients with esophageal cancer was included as, were included as well, but this method uh, became very popular in the Western Europe country. The important trial in this area is a classic trial uh, where the results were studied of perioperative chemotherapy, Xevax, and the collatable results were achieved. In 2016, results of the large German multicenter open randomized trial, FLOT4, that was based on the MAGIC trial, and the goal of that was to assess pathomorphological response of GIT cancer as a, a, a new adjuvant therapy, FLOT, and ECF or ECX regimen. Uh, the trial was given since 2010 20, uh, 12, 300 patients with locally advanced uh, GIT cancer from 28 uh, oncological sites from Germany. In flood room, there was higher percentage of the full response comparing to ESEF and ESCX group. ECX group patients' adversaries tend to be higher comparing to flood 40% against 36. Also, it's important fact that in the group float, higher was the R0 resection, 80% against 74%. In 2019, the same team published sized results as to the survival rate. Overall survival increased in float comparing to ECF, ECX group, and overall survival 55 months against 35. Uh, although no, we may say that this trial that changed our approach to perioperative chemotherapy. Uh, let's start talking about recommendations as to perioperative chemotherapy in case of an advanced locally, locally advanced cancer in the world. According to the recommendations of the European ESMM or perioperative chemotherapy combina combination of, uh, with platinum and torpyrimidine is recommended for patients with the resectable uh, gastric cancer, the staging 1B and higher. Uh, it considered to use any fluoropyrimidine and doublet or triplet, uh, but the most promising uh, advances is in combination of ECF, the duration of the treatment to three months according to the recommendation of ESMO. The American Society ASCO considered to use chemotherapy, perioperative chemotherapy for patients with the satisfactory conditions without serious comorbidity that can tolerate intensive regimen of chemotherapy. The use of this method is uh, justifiable in case of the advancement of the process T2 and higher if there are no remote metastases and if there is no uh, unoperable uh, situation. ECOG zero 
without uh, complicated coma but a background. It's sensible to use uh, the regimen float or to administer anthracyclines or docetaxel. If the uh, PS status is low, it's better to use a low toxic regimen without docetaxel, fulfox, xelox, or combined medication S1. NCCN considered perioperative chemotherapy option is one of the variants of treatment without given preference to any methods. If we select this approach, it's recommended to use several regimens. Our most favorable regimen, full FOX or float, but also the PF regimen can be used. Uh, Plaxitaxel and uh, 5, uh, 5FU. Perioperative chemotherapy doesn't include anthracycline containing regimen. In the recommendation of the Japanese Association, uh, perioperative chemotherapy is not considered at all. Although neoadjuvant therapy as a conditional method of treatment may be used in case of the extensive metastasis in the lymph nodes or if uh, there is metastasis in the 16 lymph nodes group that is considered as a distant metastasis M1. According to the recommendation of the Russian uh, clinical oncology, perioperative chemotherapy is preferable var variant of treatment. There, are, there may be three sites of chemo polychemotherapy, uh, PFEOX or ECF, or four polychemotherapy according to FLOT. All in all cycles pre and post chemotherapy with the use of one type regimen amounts to six and for the regimen float eight cycles. According to the recommendation of the Association of Oncology on, uh, Oncologists of Russia, this approach is preferable if we have a T and more with any status of the lymph nodes and if there is no uh, distant metastasis. Uh, the combination float uh, should be used to improve the survival rate of the patient if, if there is uh, uh, counter indications, uh, the full fox 6 or xelox uh, is if there, is, uh, there are counter indications. Uh, let's consider clinical case, our experience from our center uh, with the use uh, triplets of float as a perioperative treatment, patient 68 years of age. Uh, the body antral part of tumor of the gastric T4 and 3M0, a histological and adenocarcinoma high grade of the stomach, uh, ECOG1, uh, uh, comorbidities are not deteriorated during diagnosis. Uh, there are uh, signs of nutrit nutrition, uh, malnutrition. Uh, the CT. Uh, during primary diagnosis stage, it was performed. Now I'd like dear colleagues to participate in the interactive voting and to answer the question, what kind of approach is preferable in this clinical case? Surgical treatment, surgical treatment plus adjuvant and chem and chemoradiotherapy, surgical treatment plus adjuvant uh, chemotherapy, Diagnostic, diagnostic laparoscopy plus perioperative chemotherapy and plus surgical treatment. Four options. And the fourth option, diagnostic laparoscopy once again, perioperative chemotherapy and surgical treatment. What kind of option would you consider the most preferable in this situation? I think for our colleagues so there is not a problem to answer the question. I think our ideas in this respect uh, they are similar, but we need time for voting. Please choose the preferable option and press press the button voting. Please, dear colleagues, display the results of voting so that we can see them.
Well, thank you. Right, now we must read them out. For the first option, surgery, 4.5%. Uh, uh, for surgical treatment and adjuvant uh, chemoradiotherapy, 4.2%. Surgery and adjuvant chemotherapy, 21.4%. 20, uh, and diagnostic laparoscopy with Parasurgical chemotherapy plus surgery, 64.7%. Um, now, what can I say? We selected for this particular clinical situation the fourth option. And the patient in October 2019 went through diagnostic laparoscopy. And according to cytological examination, and uh, the, the, we did not discover tumor cells. The patient had four s cycles of you know, um, adjuvant therapy within nutrition support. And I would like to say that all the four cycles were carried out on time. So uh, on the 14th day, the increase of the interval between the cycles was not needed. And in January 2020, distal resection was carried out with lymphodissection uh, D2 volume. And uh, according to histology, the, um, it was a high-grade carcinoma, and there was um, um, um G2, following the Japanese recommendations for gastric cancer. Here on the slide, you can see the actual uh, uh, CT images uh, before treatment and after the neojuvent chemotherapy. And as you can see, it's quite well expressed objective response that we received uh, for uh, pre-surgery uh, chemotherapy, semiflot. And the patient was activated uh, the first day after the surgery. Uh, we initiated the course of rehabilitation for him. The third day, the drainage was removed from uh, the abdomen. And four weeks later, uh, we started the course of adjuvant uh, therapy following FLOT within the framework of uh, parasurgical chemotherapy. Four cycles of adjuvant, no adjuvant, um, post chemiflot uh, uh, with uh, nutrition support. Uh, and all the four cycles were carried out in full volume without the increase of the interval between the cycles uh, during the control uh, examination um, in June. We were able to register remission from uh, 2019 to 2020, the um, uh, parasurgical uh, hemotherapy was provided for uh, 82 patients in our center. You can see here the main characteristics of the patients in the group. The certification um, is by Chanda, the age, localization of the primary tumor, and the um, stage of cancer. You can see the assessment of the frequency of the objective response. We compared groups of patients, and the patients who, uh, prior to 2019, uh, had, um, had had cycles of um, perisurgical uh, chemotherapy following cycles without the inclusion of doxycycline, and uh, the, the patients uh, fall, um, who were treated on lot. And in the second group, the frequency of partial regression um, goes up as compared to the group without docetaxel. And the progressing of the disease uh, um, uh, accompanied with non-neoadjuvant uh, uh, therapy was not registered in this group. So we also assessed uh, the frequency of complications in the groups and following the data, the frequency of uh, uh, complications and plot was lower as compared to the other group, considerably lower. And um, in conclusion, I would like to say uh, that um, as um, it has been demonstrated in large randomized uh, trials, 
uh, there is a, a significant increase of um, um, uh, non-recurrent survival and overall recurrent with flots. That means that this particular approach, this regimen, is preferable for the treatment of patients with locally disseminated gastric cancer. Now, uh, the uh, uh, routine and uh, nutrition support of metabolic uh, uh, therapy make it possible for us to leave the objective response with the uh, profile with a sure profile of toxicity. Our work continues, so the final results of a uh, study are following the uh, efficacy of uh, FLOT and uh, um, perisurgical therapy are to be obtained in the near future. Thank you.